Okay, let's go ahead and find the actual value of this logarithm. So we're going to need our calculators to do this problem. Now, if you think you can do this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Again, use your calculator. But I'm saying here that many people will get this problem wrong. Many people are going to make an error. So if you're taking any math course like Algebra 2, College Algebra, these are the type of courses where you learn about logarithms, okay? So if you don't know what a logarithm is, maybe that's because you're still like in pre-algebra or Algebra 1, but logarithms are tremendously important in mathematics, and this is a pretty basic logarithm problem. So hopefully you can do this. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then I'm going to explain to you how to evaluate this logarithm, okay? So I'm not going to give you too many hints here because I want to give you a full opportunity to figure this out all on your own. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades, and I want to help you become as successful as possible in mathematics. So if you need help in your current math course, or maybe some sort of special test, something like the GED, SAT, or teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will make learning math much, much easier. I'm also gonna leave links to my math notes in the description as well. Most students take average notes, but if you truly wanna be awesome in math, you have to take awesome math notes. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely will help me out. Okay, so what we have here is log base eight of three. Okay, so we wanna figure this out and we're gonna need our calculator. So let's go ahead and take a look at the answer and then you can uh, kind of uh, determine whether you got this thing right or wrong if you attempted it. So the answer is log uh, base eight of three or log of three base eight is 0.528. Okay, so kind of, uh, I want to make sure I'm saying this correctly, okay? This is log base 8 of 3. This is what we want to find. And, of course, this is the way uh, we would write that. But this is the approximate answer, 0.528. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got another decimal and you're like, hmm, I didn't get this right and I thought I got it right, well, I'm going to show you here where you probably had a bit of confusion. But hopefully uh, most of you out there that are studying logarithms got this right. And if that is the case, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two, uh, a thing or two about logarithms. So what is the situation here, okay? Why do uh, students make mistakes? Well, this is not that difficult, but most uh, people get a little confused about logarithms. Let's take a look at the logarithm buttons that are on most of our calculators here, okay? So if you have a scientific or graphing calculator, what you want to do is identify these two keys. So we have the LOG key, okay, that's the log button, okay, a log function. And then you have this other one over here. This is the LN key, okay? So the log button on our calculator is when we want to find uh, the logarithm of a number that's base 10, okay? So effectively, a logarithm, and let me go ahead and just give you a basic example of a logarithm. Matter of fact, let me just go up here for a second, not to confuse anyone, just in case some of you are totally lost with logs. I want to make sure this is super clear and this won't just take a quick second because I just can't help to explain it. So what is a logarithm? Okay, so we want to be thinking of this uh, uh, bacon and eggs. Okay, so it's the base to the exponent is equal to the answer. So what do I mean? Well, if I have 2 to the third power, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So this exponential uh, expression right here, I can express as a logarithm by thinking of it this way. Now, you heard me say bacon and eggs, B-A-E. So basically, we can write a logarithm this way. So this would be L-O-G. What's the base? Well, the base here is 2. Okay, so here's a power. This is the base. This is the exponent. This is the answer. B to the E is equal to A. So this is log base 2. The answer is what? 8. And that is equal to the exponent, which in this case is 3. So logarithms are ways, um, basically, 
and the inverse functions of exponential functions. Okay, so this kind of gets into a big uh, topic, but basically this is what a logarithm is, all right? So when we're looking at ba the base, these two numbers, we're talking about th this is the base, this is the answer, and this would be the exponent. So there's all different sorts of uh, questions that you could be asked about logarithms, okay? So anyways, to kind of get back to our buttons, this LOG button on our calculator is uh, specifically log base 10. We call this the common logarithm, okay? So, but it's log base 10 specifically, okay? Now the LN button is log base E. So E is the natural base. So E is approximately a number, I think it's like 2.718, uh, except I should know this number. It's a very famous number. It's just as important as uh, pi, for example. Anyways, this is the natural base, but this is log base E. It's the LN button. So these two buttons are the only buttons that we have on our calculator. But if you notice here, this is log base uh, 10. This is log base E. And I want to find log base 8. Okay, so you're saying, well, how are we going to do that? Because all we have is a log base 10 button on our calculator and a log base E button. We don't have a log base 8 button. Okay, so what do we do? Well, fortunately, we have a lovely little formula here called the change of base formula. It is super, super easy. So here we go. So we have log uh, B, A, right? So remember, this is the base. This was the answer. So any logarithm that we want to uh, calculate, okay, evaluate, actually find the value to, we can write this log to a certain base to a certain answer this way, okay? We can use, or this is the formula. It's log A over log B. Now here, okay, when we evaluate these logs right here, this can be any log that we want. This could be log base 10. This could be uh, LN. A log base E. So this is really, really cool, and it's absolutely critical they understand this log. So let's go ahead and take a look at this change of base formula right now. All right, so we're trying to figure out what log base 8 of 3 is. So what we're going to do is write this as log 3. Okay, so this is the uh, change of base formula. Now, this is base 8. Okay, remember, we don't have log base 8 uh, button on a calculator, but we, um, we could write again this expression as log three over log eight. Okay, so make sure you understand that. Now here, these are, we can use the common log or the natural log in our calculator. This is what's really cool about this. So we can go into our uh, calculator and then finally use our LOG button, log base 10 to evaluate uh, these answers. You can use the natural log as well. So now we can use our um, buttons on our calculator, our, our common log um, to figure this out. So this would be log, uh, 3 divided by log 8, and when you do that, you'll get uh, 0.528. So a lot of you out there probably, you know, uh, would just take that log 3. You would probably just use your LOG button and hit 3 to find the answer, or maybe you manipulate this um, a few of the different ways. So remember, okay, uh, that this button here is only log base 10. You're going to need to know this change of base formula for sure when you are dealing with logarithms, but it's uh, not that difficult and it ties into the bigger picture about what logarithms are. Now there's other properties of logarithms you're gonna need to know as well. I mean, logarithms are extremely important and I think for students when they first learn logarithms, it uh, you know it seems kind of confusing because it, it's you know something new, but you know really logs are so, so powerful and absolutely essential in more advanced mathematics. So if you need additional help with logarithms, uh, I'm gonna suggest you check out a couple of different uh, courses that I have. Algebra 2 would be one, College Algebra would be another. Uh, any of my uh, kind of college level mathematics courses, certainly in my pre-calculus course, I teach a lot about logarithms as well. But if this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.